Is this extra work I'm putting into fermenting your feed helping you at all? Or does it only make me feel better about how I feed you? Do you guys really like fermented feed? Do you even know what it is? Hey y'all, I'm Renee and welcome to Tater Town. Today, I am going to go over my top 10 reasons uh, for fermenting chicken feed and explain to you why doing so is a benefit for both you and your chickens. And I'll also go into why you might decide you don't want to do this. So stick with me through the video and I'll give you all the details. All right, so the first thing I want to address is what exactly is fermentation? And I'm sure most of you have heard the term, especially in reference to alcohol, maybe foods like yogurt, sauerkraut, and kimchi. Uh, but what is it? And why on earth would you want your chickens to eat feed that's fermented? I mean, you don't want to have drunk chickens, right? Well, to ferment something is to create an environment that allows yeast, or, and or bacteria to create a chemical change in whatever it is you are working with. And when you ferment foods, you increase probiotics and probiotics are beneficial microorganisms that help maintain a healthy gut so it can extract nutrients from your food. There are three types of fermentation. There's alcohol fermentation, which is of course what is probably your most familiar with, and that's how you get alcoholic beverages. There's acetic acid fermentation, uh, and that's how you get vinegar and kombucha. And then finally, there's lactic acid fermentation, and that's how you get things like sourdough, yogurt, and sauerkraut. And this is the type of fermentation that's happening when you ferment your chicken's feed. Um, it allows beneficial yeast and bacteria to convert the starches and sugars in the food into lactic acid. And there are so many benefits to consuming properly fermented foods. So here are my top 10 reasons why you might decide to do this. The first one is gut health. You increase immunity and intestinal integrity in the gut. So fermenting foods acidifies the GI tract and creates a natural barrier to E. coli, salmonella, and campylobacter. You know the old saying, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. And it's so true, especially in this case. If we're acidifying the chicken's gut, we're going to help reduce the amount of destructive bacteria that can sicken your bird. And if you want more detailed information on that topic, be sure to check out my video on how to acidify your chicken's water. Number two, fermented feed leads to better nutrient conversion. And basically what that means in simple terms is when you ferment food, it breaks down the protection around those seeds or the, whatever the food source is and unlocks the nutrients stored inside so that your chicken can ha access them easier. Number three, because of better nutrient conversion, your birds will need to take in less food because they're getting more nutrition than they would had you not fermented the feed. Number four, not only does fermenting unlock more nutrients, it also increases the overall protein content of the food without increasing the calorie content. Number five, fermenting feed leads to increased weight gain. Now, this is not obviously always a good thing, but um, it is definitely important uh, as I understand for those of you who raise broilers. Number six, fermenting feed releases bound phosphorus, which is important for bone development. Chickens lack the enzyme needed to break down their food to release phosphorus. Now, number seven through nine, like I said, apply to all hens, but a specific study was done in older laying hens, and that's those that are over 80 weeks of age. And it was published in Poultry Science Journal, and I'll post the link in the description. Uh, but it's very interesting because what that showed is that, yes, it, you get better egg quality, reduction of broken egg rate, and enhanced laying rate in every age of the hen, 
not really it was significant in those older laying hens so they can keep laying throughout their older age. And finally, number 10, you could save some money. In the overall life of your chicken, you're gonna use less feed over time. It's not gonna be significant, like, oh my gosh, I'm using half the amount of feed I was using before. It's not gonna be that significant. Um, but you will use less in the long run. And because fermenting feed positively impacts your chicken's health, you'll most likely spend less on preventing your chickens from getting sick and then treating them when they do get sick. I'm definitely not saying it will 100% prevent your birds from getting sick because there are so many factors in play. But again, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure. Now, like I said at the beginning, these are my top 10 reasons why I think you should ferment feed. However, there's always a however. Um, there are some reasons why you might decide against fermenting your chicken's feed. First, I use the term properly fermented feed. Fermented feed is not wet feed. I mean, it is wet, but you can't just mix some feed with water and give it to your birds immediately. You have to soak it for a period of time. And some sites say anywhere from one to three days. But for me, I like to ferment my feed for three days. And this allows the feed to become acidic enough to be considered fermented. And you want to make sure that it's at a pH of 4.6 or lower. Uh, and this can definitely be achieved in one day. But like I said, I like to do it for three days. As you can see here, there are three days. I'm going to show you day one, day two, day three, uh, what the pH is. Now, you don't have to test the feed every time. I'm just showing this to you so you get an idea of what the pH is after one day, two days, three days, um, and also what you should be aiming for. But it certainly doesn't hurt if you have pH test strips around or a pH tester um, meter that you test it just to make sure everything is acidifying the way you need it to be. Because if it's not, there are other problems that can occur and we'll talk about that here in a minute. That means the food needs to be submerged underwater for the duration of the time you're fermenting. Usually three inches of water above the feed should be sufficient, two to three inches. But you may have to add extra water as the feed sucks up the water and expands. As you can see the difference between day one and day three. So another issue is that you need to use non-chlorinated water since chlorine will kill the good bacteria that you're trying to develop during the fermentation process. It's kind of pointless, right? I mean, the reason why the city or whatever water treatment facility you're on treats the water with chlorine is to kill any bad microbes that could be in the water. That includes uh, bacteria, and that's what you want for the fermentation process. Um, you'll also need to keep it covered with either uh, with a loose fitting lid or an actual fermentation lid to keep oxygen and dust out and to let the gases escape as it ferments. Another reason why you might not want to ferment your feed is, you know, I mentioned earlier of all these nutritional benefits of fermenting your feed, right? Well, while there is an increase in most nutrients, According to that same study that I referenced in the older laying hens, there was a decrease in the essential amino acid lysine and threonine in those feeds that are fermented. So if you have a chicken that's having an issue with one of those amino acids or, you know, something that affects them, you may not want to ferment their feed. If you don't properly ferment their feed, then there is a danger you could end up with mold and mycotoxins infecting the food. Another reason is it does take up extra counter space and you'll have to stir the contents daily and keep it in a cool, dark area away from the sun. Another reason why you might choose not to ferment feed is the smell. It should not smell rancid, but it does have a yeasty acidic smell and it's not the most pleasant thing in the world. Um, to me, it smells like hot sauce, but it definitely causes a gag reflex in my friends. So I don't know, I kind of like the smell, go figure. Regardless, 
The decision is ultimately up to you, but it's important to know both the pros and cons so you can make an informed choice. I ferment my chicken's feed because I really do feel the benefits completely outweigh the negatives. That doesn't mean that the negatives are not important, they are, and you need to take all of that into consideration when making your decision. Regardless, I hope this video gives you some help in deciding whether or not you wanna give it a go. And if you want more information about pH and the benefits of acid in your chicken's diet, a little more scientific, uh, be sure to check out the NVIDIA link on how to acidify your chicken's water and why you should. And thank you again for taking the time to join me here on Tater Town. And don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe so you can see more videos that will help you do those things you never thought you could.